Uh, let's take a look at some of the coaching staff as, as we know it, or the uh, leaders in the clubhouse. And there's a whole bunch, at least, what, 10 people maybe? Yeah, Mike McCarthy, um, you know, we know he's won 60-some percent of his games, as, as Haslam pointed out. Um, the people will say, well, he had Brett Favre <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers. He should win some Why games. shouldn't he? Yeah. And over the last, uh, his previous couple seasons, I think his record was just 500. He was 23 right, So Greg Roman, of course, with Baltimore. You got John McDaniels, uh, Josh McDaniels, rather, Robert Salah. Uh, Kevin Stefanski, Brian Dable, familiar name, uh, Mike LaFleur, Mike uh, McDaniel, and Eric Bieniemy. We have met Bieniemy, and he is us. I think that was a pogo thing. I think that was a uh, um, uh, ESPN, the nickname yeah. guy. Yeah. Chris Berman. Chris Berman. All right, yeah, so here you have Greg Berman. Roman. What do you think? Um, again, I, you know, he's had success as an offensive coordinator. Um, is he? Would he have learning curve as a head coach? I would say yes, he would. Let's go to uh, next on the list, Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels, first uh, job in Denver in 2009, started off something like 6-0. and um, Decided on, when he first set foot in town that he was going to trade Jay Cutler. Cutler found out about it, that, that they were going to shop him around. That turned that one sour. And he traded three draft picks to draft Tim Tebow. So. Nobody comes. He's got that going for him. <laughs> Nobody comes to this, I don't think, with a with a, uh, a sparkling, uh, spotless record. Robert Salah. Yeah, I mean, I I, I joke that you know, you know an organization has had a lot of coaching searches when the candidates all start looking alike. I mean, it, <laughs> I've never seen him and Mike Pettin in the same room before, but wow. um, he's a guy who's an interesting candidate, but really has had no experience as a head coach. And he's a defensive kind of guy in the yeah. NFL is an offensive league right now. You know, now. this guy, I would say, is is probably going to be at the top of the list. I mean, if if last year uh, D. Podesta uh, really wanted Stefanski and now D. Podesta is just as powerful or more powerful in the organization, you could see a scenario where they hired Stefanski and bring back Andrew Barry, who is here. Brian Dayball, a familiar face and name from a couple of years ago on the coaching staff. Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, I've seen Joe Thomas speak very highly of how he held people accountable on the offensive side of the ball, but as we know, it's it's a bigger job than that. Mike LaFleur, what do you know about him? Um, not really much other than that he's 32 years old less and he began coaching in the NFL in 2014. <laughs> Where did you learn that? And a coaching intern with the Browns, so it means that if they hire him, we can write those sappy stories about how he used to go get, you know. Coffee. Tuna salad sandwiches. The Mangini for the theory media. that you go yeah. press, hand out press releases. Yeah. Did they ever hand one out to you? I, I was never there during that time. He did to me. Did he? Yeah. And I'm sure he bragged about it. No, I'm sure he forgot <laughs> about it. <laughs> Mike or, McDaniel, or like 36 years old, um, Browns wide receiver coach in 2014, uh, running game coordinator. You know, he was a running game coordinator in 2017, but that, that whole zone run thing that San Francisco does has been a Shanahan's yeah. trademark. You know, this if you needed proof that these jobs come and go, we have guys who were here like two years ago we never heard of any of them. I know, I know. That's why it's just so hard to keep track. But Eric Bieniemy, a lot of people speak very highly of him. Um, I know he's been getting more interviews lately. He'll, I think he'll interview with a couple other uh, organizations. Um, and I think he's one of those guys that, you know, if you believe Andy Reid could go from position coach to head coach, then you might convince yourself that he could too.